So I turned 27 last week. Age-wise, I'm an adult. But one adult skill that I never quite got the hang of is networking. Something I think about often is how to network in the YouTube community. If you've ever made videos or you've left a comment on a video, then you've probably received at least one message from someone begging you to subscribe to their channel. Most of these messages are impersonal, so I've learned to delete without reading. But one time, I messaged back a young man, politely asking him how he found my channel and why he would like me to check out his. His response was simply, it's just something everyone does. I understand that it's harder to make your voice known on YouTube, but I don't think that sending messages solely promoting yourself is the way to make meaningful connections on YouTube. But then, what's the right way to go about it? Is there a right way to go about it? These were some questions I asked Mike Martin, author of The End Games and co-host of the Life Skills show How to Adult. I met Mike while randomly sitting next to him at last year's VidCon, and in between panels I asked him how he made connections in the YouTube community. He brought up three main points. One, be kind. Two, don't expect too much too soon. And three, make friends with those on your tier. The first point applies to all aspects of YouTube. When addressing your audience in your videos, show them you respect them by talking to them like peers, not fans. When they leave comments on your videos, respond to them. Show them that you're grateful that they're giving their time to you and that you value their feedback. If you admire another creator's work, be generous in your compliments. Leave them nice comments and share their videos. Creators are more likely to remember kind feedback, check out your channel, and maybe even want to collaborate with you. The second point applies to gaining subscribers. If you walk up to someone at VidCon and start with, hey, this is my channel name, and you should watch my videos, they're probably going to say no. You don't start a conversation with a stranger by expecting them to give you something outright. They need to get to know you, get to like you, and then maybe they'll consider checking out your videos. That's why I get turned off by spam messages from YouTube newbies. They haven't developed a rapport with me, and without that, I'm not likely to invest in their videos. The third point applies to collaborations. Now, if I reached out to John Green and asked him to do a collab video with me, well, he probably wouldn't see the message, but if he did, he probably wouldn't. That's not because he sees himself as too good to collaborate with me, but because he has no idea who I am. And he probably never will, which is okay because, God, he's busy with writing and fathering and making videos that are seen by thousands of people every day. He's on a different tier of YouTube. If I wanted to collaborate with YouTubers, then I need to find people who are on my tier, those with smaller audiences, who are used to doing things on a smaller scale and hold similar, smaller YouTuber values. The way these smaller YouTubers work their way up to mid-level YouTubers is by building each other up. They support each other's content by leaving comments and making video responses and sharing their videos on platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. These smaller YouTubers develop a rapport with each other, which can lead to online friendships, which can in turn lead to IRL friendships. I mean, it's kind of hard to do a video collab unless you guys are friends first, right? Through sheer luck, I've actually made some friends from YouTube in the last year and I'd like to get better at doing it this year. Not for the purpose of collaborations, but just because it's refreshing to be able to talk to a community that shares your values. I'm trying more and more to engage in the comments of other creators' videos, because I understand how validating it is to have someone say something about this video that you've invested hours in making. Before, I wouldn't subscribe to somebody unless I knew that I would watch every new video that they put out. This, of course, is an outdated view. And I now realize that it doesn't matter if you miss somebody's videos every now and then. What matters is that you support their content. And an easy way to do that is to subscribe. I have a few small YouTuber friends who have been kind enough to leave comments, share my videos, and even subscribe. I haven't been that good at returning the favor, but I'd like to change that right now. Because I now know that that's what you do for YouTubers you support. So if we've ever engaged in YouTube comments, then please know that you have made a huge impression on me. Honestly, I think you're cool. In fact, let me go subscribe to your channel right now and leave some comments on your videos. Because that's how this community thrives, right? Speaking of the YouTube community, it's no longer confined to just YouTube. It's expanded to other platforms like Twitter and Tumblr. I'm on Twitter, which has been great for following conversations I care about. However, by not being on Tumblr, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot and studies suggest that content is actually shared faster on Tumblr than Twitter. The Tumblr community is one that I haven't ventured into... until now. If you want to find out why it took me so long to join Tumblr, I will link to my first post down below. I'm hoping that by being on Tumblr, 
It'll make it easier for me to follow things and people that I care about and to network with people that I think are cool. But I am curious. What are your experiences with networking on YouTube? It doesn't matter if you make videos or not. In general, I love hearing about people's experiences with online communities. So if you have an interesting story, please share it down below. If you're on Tumblr, please say hello to me on there because my dashboard is looking pretty bare right now and I'm looking for people to follow. I'm still trying to figure out how Tumblr works. So I'd love to check out your blog and get some ideas about how to customize mine. Because holy cow, all those themes are really overwhelming. Huge thanks to Mike Martin for inspiring this video on how to network. You can check out both his life skills show How to Adult and his personal channel as well, which I'll link below. Also, big thanks to Steve, whose video on YouTube comments has prompted me to start thinking about supporting smaller YouTubers. I'll link to that video down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back on here in a couple weeks. In the meantime, I'll be hanging out in the comments if you want to chat. One thing I forgot to mention is that we are looking for new vloggers to join our collab channel. All we ask is that you be recently graduated from university because sometimes we do talk about our postgrad experiences. If you'd like to know more or you'd like to join our team, you can send an email to this address or tweet me, tumble me, post to our Facebook page or leave a comment down below and we'll get in touch with you. Thanks for watching and best wishes.